My favorite Zen master is named Haku, and he was born way back in 1686. And by the time he was 15, he was already ordained as a Zen master. One time he became so disillusioned with the Zen practice that he gave it up just in favor of reading books in contemporary Chinese and Japanese literature. And that's when he got his hands on this book called The Praise of the True School. And he learned about this great Zen master named Ganto. Hakuin wrote, wanting to learn more about the life of this priest, I got my hand on this book and I read through it on my own. And I learned that he had this violent death at the hand of bandits. Now, Hakuin was very disheartened by this discovery. And because Ganto was like one in a million, he was like one of the dragons of his age. And Hakuin started to think, how can I, an ordinary garden variety monk, avoid falling into the same path of how one of his idols died. And that really messed with Hakuin's head and he struggled with anxiety and struggled with just depression and all these back and forth thoughts. He started living the life of an outcast. It was like he couldn't really return to being a normal person, but he was just as like humiliated and ashamed to like sneak off and just throw himself in a watery grave. Yeah, it, it got that deep for Hakuin. So he wanted to break it. So what he did was he started meditating and he meditated and he meditated for years about his idol's death. Then one day he had a sudden awakening that I am Ganto. I am that monk. I am that great monk. I am one of the dragons. But it all came to a head when one day a samurai came to visit Hakuin and he asked him a question. Does heaven and hell really exist? Hakuin, being a little bit of a smart ass, said, Who are you? Who are you? The man replied, I'm a samurai. Hakuin goes, You, a warrior, what kind of lord will employ you? You have a crafty look about you. Now, this pissed the samurai off, and the samurai started to pull his sword. Hakuin jeered at him because he was fearless at this point. So, you want a sword? It's probably too blunt to even hurt me. That really pissed the samurai off more, so he took out the sword. Hakuin looked at him, offered up his head, no longer afraid of death. He said, here, open the gates of hell. He was ready to die for this guy. But hearing this and seeing Hakuin's bravery and his balls in the face of death, the samurai recognized his master's discipline and, he, and recognized his calling and he put away his sword and he bowed to Hakuin. Hakuin says to him, here, open the gates of paradise. This story reminds me that even in reference of the samurai, that you can't forget the years of hard labor. And no, because those years of, of back and forth, all that self-reflection, all that terror were necessary for Hakuin to become free of it. His fear and anxiety drove him deep into his own nature to find peace that he could not find on the outside. It's like I love that story because it, it truly goes on to say after years of meditation, years, it wasn't one meditation. It wasn't, oh, I meditated or I did this thing and I had this awakening. He spent years of meditation and deep awakening and self-reflection in order to get over his fears until he said, I am that monk. I am that great monk. I am one of the dragons. And it, you see it play out in the face of the samurai. And, and even the samurai he had to understand and go back into his teachings and go, you know what? Let me put this away. And it's a great reference to heaven and hell. And that's one of the reasons why I did this podcast, because it's about self-reflection. I have no more excuses. So this journey, this podcast that I am going to embark on, it's all about awakenings. It's all about self-reflection self because they are aligned. You're going to have multiple moments of self-reflection. And if you have had an awakening, and we'll get into more. On, let me first, let me back up. If you don't know what an awakening is, let me explain to you. Awakening is a sudden realization or an epiphany about yourself, your life, or the world that heightens your awareness of your thoughts and your feelings and your behaviors. And you get that sort of same thing with self-reflection. It's actually one of the avenues to an awakening. Uh, and self-reflection is a deliberate examination of your thoughts, of your emotions, of your actions. And, and that's what this podcast is. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I've been doing for the past four years and really just examining myself and reflecting on the things that I've done, reflecting on the, the thoughts that pop up in my head, 
realizing that I'm not those thoughts and I'm not the things that I've done. And the only thing that really matters is this moment. And, and I had a perspective shift. It was a shift in my perspective that changed how I viewed life, changed how I view the relationships I have in my life. It even changed my personal goals. Uh, my therapist said, you're not being intentional about the things you want. And I said, let me start this podcast. <laughs> because if I want to be a speaker, if I want to speak, and I, I've spoken at places before, I've spoken at some place a couple months ago, but like, I just did it. And I was like, okay, I did it. And but I want to keep doing it. I want it to be regular. So I have to do things to do that. This podcast is one of the avenues I hope to bring me there. I have no more excuses. I must do the things I want to do. This podcast is also about personal growth. Uh, I had an awakening that really was the catalyst to this personal growth journey. Uh, it prompted changes in my behavior, changes into my attitudes and changes into my beliefs. Uh, I talked a little bit about it on Mind Bodega. If you guys want to go back and listen to that little series, you're more than welcome to. Um, this will be a little different from that. Maybe it's the same. Who knows? But this is a different podcast. And I'm rambling here, but this just wanted to tell you guys what this is. But also what I want to make sure that this podcast gives you is a lot of emotional insight because an awakening can bring you profound emotional insight, revealing deep seated fears, desires and resolved issues. When I was in a meditation, I realized that I don't care what people think about me. But then as I'm, I'm going through that and I had that awakening and some self-reflection, I realized that even though I don't care that thought still keeps me semi-paralyzed, right? So how do I overcome that fear and overcome that? Because it is a fear to me, right? It's like, hey, I don't care about what anyone thinks. And in my circle, I'm fine. But I also am not venturing out of my circle, right? So through self-reflection, I have to explore these emotions, explore um these emotional triggers and patterns and how I respond to them, right? So that's something that I'm going to do here too. And, and ultimately the goal of this is behavior change. I'm not the same person I was five years ago. I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. I have been embarking on an emotional journey for decades. And this version of I'm, myself has been sped up by events, of course, but you know, I have nothing to prove. I have nothing else to say to the mistakes of my past. They are in the past and I have the courage to be disliked, which is a great book I urge all of you guys to read. And um, yeah, I, I'm going to self-reflect to the point to where I can have sustained behavioral change. I have a new sense of self-awareness and accountability that I've garnered over time that I'm bringing with me as I move forward in life. And what else you're going to get on this podcast is authenticity. We live in a world where everyone presents a fake version of themselves. It's one of the reasons why I don't post on Instagram because I'm like, I don't want to be associated with the fake. And I'll post something that's an authentic version of myself and take it back because that moment's gone. I don't want to hold on to anything too long. And it's it's interesting and it's and it's part of the things that I'm going to share with you guys as we as we go forward into this podcast journey uh, and just being mindful of everything that happens around me. You know, um, my awakening has given me a heightened sense of mindfulness um, and it helped me cultivate things and help me, I could say, helps me lift up a consciousness that's inside of me and it's through this deliberate examination of my own experiences that I can make a deeper connection with the present life that I have surrounding me uh, and that's one of the reasons why there are no more excuses for me to continue to keep this to myself there's no more excuses for me not to be intentional about my goals and uh, and that's one of the reasons why I've made this podcast to be accountable, to to put out this journey for the world and to just be a better version of myself. So no more excuses. Uh, this is the podcast. This is a quick touch in. We'll have more structured episodes as we move on. But I just wanted to talk to you guys um, and just leave this here for a record about why I made this podcast. And maybe two years, five years, 10 years down the line, we can come back to this moment and, and be like, hey, 
this is our purpose and are we still aligned in that purpose so so yeah i mean this is my podcast and uh i hope you guys will take this journey with me if you are willing to shoot me a message on instagram uh black coffee union (laughs) what 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 is it what's my instagram the Instagram that I'm going to use for this, I think, is going to be, yep, Black Coffee Union. Exactly how it's spelled, Black Coffee Union. I like Black Coffee. We are a union of people that are going to embark on this forever. So, yeah, see you soon. Peace. <laughs>